Welcome to the Mind42 tutorial. Mind42 is a fantastic free tool. Unfortunately, you get a bit of advertising down the right hand side over there though. So, I've already signed up and logged in and I've created several mind maps already. But we're going to create a new one today. So let's click on the plus to create a new mind map. Give your mind map a name and click create. The name of my mind map is also known as the parent mode and it's the main overview if you'd like. If I click on animals and then click the plus I add a child node. Now I can use the speech to text but I'm going to type today. And enter. Right, I can add another child node by clicking the plus. So that mammals is now the parent of my new node. But if I want to add a sibling node to mammals, I can click on mammals and then Alt plus. So hold the Alt key down and click plus. So now animals has two branches, mammals and we'll call this one reptiles. Okay, it's not a very elaborate mind map at the moment, but I'm sure you get the idea so far. Well, let's have a look at what Mind42 can actually do. Click on your mammals. And over here on the left, I have some tools that I can use. So we'll have a look at the artist palette first. I can change the size of my font, underline it, italic it, and change the colour of the branch. So let's go for yellow. And click out of that. And you'll see the mammals branch is now a different colour. Again, if I click on mammals, and then on the star, you'll see there are icons I can add to it too. So if I was using a vocabulary mind map, I might put a red flag next to the ones I want my students to complete. Click out. And Mabels now has a red flag. Right, select Mammals again. And this time, click on the image icon. And we need to find the image URL. So I'm going to click on the tab up the top where I already have my mammals poster found. Make sure you go through to full size image so that you can get the complete URL. Copy it and back to your mind map. Click and paste in that URL and enter. That image is now attached to mammals. We can also add a hyperlink. Click on mammals and then the hyperlink icon. Select my tab, the URL Copy it and back to Mind42. And paste it in. Enter. And you should have a thumbnail. We can also add a Wikipedia from here. Search and enter. We'll just go for the top 
one. And again, you should have a thumbnail. Okay, there's some more we can do. Click on Mammals. And we can add a to-do list. Let's add a task. Click the plus. Give the task a description or an instruction to your students. You can set the priority level. Let's go for high. And we can even set the due date. Let's go for the end of the month. And last but not least, we can add notes. This is great for getting your students to keep a record of where they're up to or to ask for help or you can provide guidance with the notes as well. And if they're even doing brainstorming for their research, they can keep a record of their notes there too. Okay, let's scroll back to the top. And we're going to share our mind map now. You need to click on the title of your mind map up on the top. And publish. Click publish mind map. And we want to use the embed code. Click to select it. Highlight the code. Copy it. And that's what you'll use to embed it in your wiki or blog. Okay, that's all we have time for in this tutorial. I hope you enjoy using Mind42. I know it's a brilliant tool. Good luck everyone.